All right, let's talk about how you can get fitter. Um, I do this pretty regularly. I wanted to share with you guys so that you can do it fairly regularly. I think it'll help you speed up your results. So this is what I do, check it out. I'm gonna flip the camera around. Here is today's workout. It looks something like this. What I normally end up doing is giving myself mostly little time domains so I know about how long it'll take me. Now, if you're not sure, um, you should probably start paying attention to the clock and workouts. That's it between training and competing. Training, we know where our time domains are. Competing, we're just going. Uh, sometimes we black out, we don't know how fast we're actually going. But training, I'm very specific as to what I wanna hit. So what that might look like is, it might look something like this. So double unders, 100 of them take me about two minutes. Uh, I put a plus 15 in there because it is about 15 seconds for transition time. Uh, I said the hang power cleans will take about four minutes plus 20 seconds for transition time because it's a longer walk to the GHD. Depending on how smoked you are, it might take longer. 50 GHD setups is about 2.30. Uh, 75 push press might be four minutes again. I get another 15 second transition. And then the final 100 dubs might take me two minutes. Um, so again, if I add all that stuff up, it'll give me my time, but I also have benchmarks for where I should be. So if the clock is running up for the workout, I know that 100 dubs, take me about two minutes, the clock should be at two minutes. 75 hang power cleans will take me about four minutes, clock should be at around 6.15 because that includes the transition. 50 GHD should take me about 2.30, so I finish with that 20 second extra work to rest in there, around 9.05. 75 push press is again another four minutes. That puts me up at 13.20 because I got the transition in there as well. Uh, and then 100 double unders is two minutes. 1535, give or take, that just gives me a good little ballpark. Um, normally reps take about two seconds a piece, um, just so you guys have kind of like a ballpark for it. Every time you transition, it's about 15 to 20 seconds. Hopefully this helps you guys start to lay this out and we'll do a few more examples. All right, let's play with an example. MRAP 12, five devil presses. How long will that take you guys? It is at your weight for what you would normally use in a workout. 10 dumbbell front rack lunges. I want you to write down again how long this will take you. Last but not least, everyone's favorite 15, 20 cal bike. I understand that some of you are making the joke right now in your head that it will take you forever. Realistically, how long do you think that it will take you to do these movements? Okay, I will show you my answers for what I wrote down. Um, again, everyone's a little bit different. I wrote down that we would have 60 seconds, or at least it would take me for the five devil presses. The 10 dumbbell front rack lunges would take me around 40 seconds. And then the bike would take me about two minutes. I think that's a bit conservative. However, like the lunges kind of smoke me. I'm not great at dumbbell front rack. Devil press is again, a slow, just grind of a movement. So I expect to be a little bit slower on the bike. Total per round, that gives me around 340. So if I get into, three plus change in that workout, I'm in a really good spot. Uh, notice I did not mark down transition times. I know that the devil presses can take me way less than that. That's just like me moving at a consistent pace. Dumbbell front rack lunges again are about two seconds a rep. So that's about 20 to 25 seconds. So I kind of built that in a little bit where there's just a slow transition. Uh, bike, again, a bit conservative. It might be closer to four minutes around, um, but I think that I can realistically try and hold on to 340 per round, seeing that it's only 12 minutes long. Feel free to adjust on the fly, but let's go through another example so you guys can get some more practice with this. All right, last example we'll play with uh, so you guys can kind of play along at home. AMRAP 8, it is four front squats, 185, 125 is the RX weight and then four strict pulse for the gentlemen, three for the ladies. Um, I want you to write down how long you think four front squats will take. Good, and I want you to write down how long uh, four or three strict pull-ups will take or your variation of what you're gonna use for that workout. All right, and this one's a little bit more tricky than it seems. Now, how much transition time will you have from the front squats to the strict pull-ups? All right, now add up those times. Let's see about how long each round takes you. 
So what I've written down is 15 to 20 seconds for the front squats. I gave myself a 15 second transition and then 20 seconds for the four or three strict pull-ups again. The reason why I gave myself this right here, because if I jump right into that as quickly as possible, I can't sustain that pace. Uh, the strict pull-ups will probably be where it falls apart, and my heart rate is also super high from the front squats. Um, I know that I can probably do a, a full round of this if I wanted to go as quickly as possible, in probably like 10 seconds for the front squats, jump right up, we'll say a four second transition, and then uh, the pull-ups will just say are two seconds a rep, we'll say eight seconds. So I know I can do a full round, in about 22 seconds. Unfortunately, that's not sustainable. So you guys need to kind of figure out this number, that 20 second window, what that's gonna look like for you throughout the duration of the workout and try and just aim through that. The first round can start out a little bit hot and then it might peter off. So I might actually start my first round and use that 22 second one. And then from there, settle on in somewhere between 45 to 55 seconds per round. That might give me a really good pace. So I know by the end of it, if I do a round every, we'll just say, we'll pick somewhere in between, we'll just say 50 seconds, right? I'll stick with that 55, just as it makes life easier. I know that if I, let's say, I smash the first round, and then there, I'll be somewhere around eight plus rounds, because it's just under a minute around. Um, maybe I'll get into the ninth, but at least it gives me an idea of where I'm gonna be at for that workout. Guys, I hope that was helpful. You will actually see me do that almost every workout on some sort of mini whiteboard, or I've probably done it before in my head. I'll look at the whiteboard and just go, okay, cool. Like I should be done with every round around three minutes. And then from there, I kind of go through the workout, but I always try to make sure I hit my markers. Hopefully this was a really big help. Uh, feel free to hit the like button below and uh, looking forward to seeing you guys in here for this double under hang power clean workout today. Later.